the boundary gets tested only when we violate it. Mm. Because how else are you going to know? Yeah. There's just no other way to know, right? So I was thinking about that, that the only way you know is when, <clears throat> that's why, you know, people use all these words like exploitation and all that. And truly, yeah. But there's no other way you're going to get. I mean, you have to get to the edge to experience it. And then you need to say how much you want to experience it or how long you want to experience it. I mean, that's the decision you make, right? And those are sometimes very subconscious decisions, which is the reason you don't see the pattern. Yes, that's such a good point. And oftentimes, well, knowledge is limited by awareness, right? And so what you're talking about is, is we have to kind of push those boundaries to expand our awareness. And through the awareness, then we can gain the knowledge that is necessary. Right. And so, and oftentimes we, we, when we think about boundaries specifically, and I know we were kind of starting to dive into this a little bit was that, okay, well, when we think about boundaries, we often think about the external to the internal in terms of those boundaries. But what about, what about our own boundaries within ourselves? You know, how mm -hmm. often are we willing to kind of do what you just did uh, in the first story of where you're like, oh, you know, my boundary is like, I just want to be in my PJs and I want to be home and I don't want to see anyone. I don't want to talk to anyone. <laughs> I just want to be in and, and just be, be by myself. But you right. pushed your own boundary and got out of your comfort zone to expand yourself. And, and, you know, it, it might not have been the most pleasant experience in some areas, but you were willing to grow. You're willing to learn. You're willing to, uh, you know, expand. And, and, you know, that's if the universe is constantly expanding. Then why shouldn't we? Exactly. Because I met all these incredible people and I had some very interesting, deep conversation. And I did feel that I made an impact that I wouldn't have made if I would have stayed in my house, right? So right. no matter what, and plus I learned so much more about myself. So it was a very good, uh, it was definitely quite a new portal for reality for me to experience. Mm. And I've never done something like that. So there was just so many interesting aspects of it. And, and you're right about the whole boundary about internal and external. Mm. And, and the very fact is that the universe is a projection, right? So at the end of the day, it all comes back to you. Yes, yes. Oh, I love that. I'd like to expand on that kind of boundary aspect relative to quantum science and kind of get your your thoughts because in, you know, in, when Amber and I talk about it, we talk about it more from that practical standpoint of you know how do I create uh, guiding principles and personal boundaries, right? Um, and it's like okay, how do I allow the external? You know, what do I allow from the external in, and then how do I how do I desire to interact with the world around me? Mm -hmm. and having those are fantastic. I mean, that's, I wish that I, I only wish that I had that earlier in my life. I wish that was a part of my growth as a child to help me understand myself better and, and to move through my life at, 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 a, at an exponential rate. I think that's what that actually does. But I'd love to kind of hear from you as, as you're, you're kind of really diving into, into boundaries here. Um, you know, what, what your feelings are on these boundaries and, and like, I'm kind of going to go a little bit more out of the, out of the norm here and, and talk about, um, in relation to, uh, memories and energy, mm -hmm. because oftentimes we want to create these boundaries or we feel like they've been violated in certain areas because of either of past memories. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and so I kind of wanted to get your feedback on your thoughts on, the, on how quantum entanglement connects with uh, past memories between who we are now and the, the moment of the memory experience in that other now moment. Right. Okay. So, so it's funny because this is something I'm actually designing a course because I learned so much with my current experience and I call that relationship dynamics. And, and, mm. and I'll tell you why, because it's so embedded in so many different things, right? So let's, let's take it to like a level where we are interacting with everything, right? Everything that comes in our contact, whether it's your thought, whether it's your emotion, whether it's your feeling, Right. So all of that you're interacting with in, internally. And then everybody that is outside of you, you're right. From your perspective, like the people that you interact with or the 
gadgets that you're interacting with by watching the YouTube video or whatever you're watching on or television or, or, or laptop, those are gadgets, right? So there's people. And then there are people that you are very intimate with the f- close people, the friends, the family, the, the children, uh, you know, the parents, whatever the people that you've given a lot more, you know, like a, like a, like you are more vulnerable to them because you've given them the space to be very close to you, which means they can affect you even more drastically. Right. Mm. I mean, that to me is a different category of people versus people in general. And then so all of these things are interactions and you are basically giving everything a permission to interact with you. Right. Mm -hmm. And that is the quantum dance. It's like you are doing that with all of these different aspects of you. Not only that, where you are in space and time. Right. Which means the place that you are, because, you know, whether you're in the ocean or whether you're in the mountain, right. Whether you're in a party, like I was, or whether in your, in your pajama, right. I mean, and in your bed sleeping, all of these are different places, right. So they, they affect you. 